All right, guys, real quickly, I'm just explaining to you guys how to figure out a one inch, the quarter marks on an inch. So when you're looking at this, all you're gonna do really is just pay attention to counting by fours. So you'll count by four. So you'll find your half inch first, right, by folding paper in half, and then you'll start counting by individually one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, find your three quarters, one, two, three, four. And then if you go one, two, three, four, it's four or four, which is one inch. Anything over itself is one inch. As you can see, two over two, four over four, eight over eight, 16 over 16 is one. Now, if you're having a hard time finding your H, you just track by two, add by two. So that's one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two. Then again, you go zero, one, two, three eighths, zero, one, two, five eighths. Again, three quarters, one, two, five eighths. Then again, one, two, seven eighths. And then you go one, two, you got eight over eight, which is one. Same thing as quarters, 25 cents, 50, 75, one dollar. So half inch is 50 cents, 25 cents, 75 cents, one dollar. All right, same thing in high school years, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Stock market, life expectancy, 30, 60, 90, 120. Um, what else I can do? Clock on the wall. Three, six, nine, twelve. So the basic thing you want to do is just count by sixteenths. If you can't find your sixteenths, everything is sixteenths over sixteen. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's it. You literally just have to count by fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the first thing you're gonna do is find your halves, your quarters, and then you minus two plus two for each spot. And that's the basics of all you have to do with finding the fractional parts. Also look at the tick marks to get bigger and smaller as you go as well. So the sixteenth is smaller than the quarter, eighth of an inch. The eighth of an inch is smaller than the quarter, the quarter is smaller than the halves. Now again, there's a video out there explaining to you how to actually draw the actual fractional parts of a ruler just using paper. But I just want to make this really quickly again. Count by fours, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You gotta pause between each one and let your brain catch up to your hands so you can see it all. And just like a dollar, again, it's all equivalent to a dollar. Just make this video really quickly to help you guys understand the concepts of just literally breaking down an eighth of uh, an inch just by counting. Again, if you do it by sixteenths, again, it's two going two one time, two going sixteen eight times, so it's one eighth. So if you need that concept. All right, guys. So well, I hope this helped you out. Again, subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, we'll be more editorial stuff helping you guys to understand the basic concepts of it. Uh, it's running to you already in the ruler and also on a piece of paper, and I'll show you on the board. All right, guys. Reach out. Ching.